what would you say was your favorite costume piece besides the uniform that you wore during your time on TNG? Thank you. Oh, uh, duh. <laughs> 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 the naked now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Flap, you know, that was before children. <laughs> You know, I have a story about a, a, a costume. <laughs> That's not what I remembered about the naked hat. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, uh, but I, I, I used to, I, on the first couple of cruises I, that I was on, I did a, a show, and I told this story in the show, but I'll make it as brief as possible, but uh, it's, it's kind of a cool story. So, uh, I finished doing Next Generation, the series. Uh, a friend of mine called me and said, we're doing uh, a show, in, I'm, I'm doing a, a movie in New Orleans. Would you come and do a one day part? And I said, sure, it's a really funny part. So I flew down to New Orleans. They drove me out to the warehouse district. And uh, there was this warehouse filled with 30s and 40s costumes because that's when this movie was taking place. And uh, they said, well, what do you see your character wearing? And I said, I see him in a brown suit. And they said, well, let's pull a blue one, a black one, and a brown one, and see how they fit you. And I said, okay, yeah, put on the blue one, it's too small, put on the black one, too big, put on the brown suit, fit me like a glove. So I said, well, obviously this is the one. Now, when I was in high school, we would do musicals and plays, and we rented costumes from LA, from uh, Western Costume in LA. And I wore a jacket once, uh, and I took it off, and I looked at the label inside, and it said, Ray Milan, if, if you remember the Ray Milan. Yeah, so I was like, oh my god, I'm wearing Ray Milan's coat. Anyway, so I decided to take this jacket off and look inside and see who maybe it belonged to. And I look inside, and it says, Brent Spiner, Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> We were like, oh my god. I mean, it was five years, it was the Sherlock Holmes jacket. And five years and 1,500 miles later, me and that jacket came together again. <laughs> Just out of thousands of costumes. And they asked me, hey, well, do you want to take it with you? And I said, no, I want to meet it again somewhere. <laughs> I was doing a show, and, um, and it just as Brent said, you, you get costumes and what have you, and sometimes you look inside there and you see, you know, you see who, who it was for. <coughs> and I was taking my costume off, I, and I had been given underwear, which was sort of, you know, odd, but I was given underwear. So I, I, I put on the underwear, I did the show, what have you. I'm taking it off, and I see that there's a name tag, Robert Redford. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to the costumer, can I take this home? My wife, my wife would really enjoy this. <laughs> they said yes. Wow. She carries it in her purse to this day. Well, here's my question. You didn't have your own underwear? I mean, it was because they... I know, it's so strange. Yeah. Like, you have to wear underwear, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> this character calls for underwear. Uh, you know, since we're talking about, I mean, I, I, we're going to do acting stories here, but I, I was, uh, I was doing uh, Hooperman, and I was playing somebody in full drag, full drag, everything, and at the end, uh, uh, this was, this is a story about <clears throat> um, sympathizing with all the women out there. I finished the show. I'm getting undressed. They said, we'll help you get undressed. I said, yeah, actually, I'm going to need that. So I'm, I'm cleaning off my face, and the wig is taken off, and what have you, and I'm now just in my bra and panties. <laughs> <laughs> and my high heels. <laughs> I asked them if I could take them all home. <laughs> and so I'm there, I'm bent over like this, I'm cleaning my face, I've got bra and panties like that. And the guy unzips or, or unclips my bra, and I would remember going, oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>